Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Esther. Growing up in Zimbabwe, we ate seasonally, something that is quite foreign here in the UK. And if, you're, if you eat seasonally, you know that the food in season tastes massively different to food that is not in season. It's autumn, so pumpkins and pears are in season. Let's make some yummy food. This pumpkin was washed, cut, prepared and baked last night because we made some cookies with the girls. I baked it plain, no, no salt, no seasoning whatsoever for about 45 minutes. To make our yummy pumpkin sauce, we had to add three carrots, peeled and chopped for easier cooking, two bell peppers, one red onion, and a bulb of garlic. Drizzle some olive oil and roast that for about 40 minutes. Once cooked, transfer all your vegetables into your blender. Add two cups of milk of choice. I used soy milk and blend until your sauce is nice and smooth. Look at that beautiful color. The color of this sauce gives me warm vibes and comfort food. Vibes, which is what is needed in this weather. Okay, so our sauce is all blended down. Let's cook it. I started off by cutting a small white onion, fried that, and then cooked my sauce down. I also added some nutritional yeast to give it that nutty and cheesy flavor. Once it was cooked down, I added some spinach. We got that pasta from TK Maxx, and Miss Elizabeth wanted to make a seafood kind of pasta with some seaweed we obviously have got nori at home but i don't think nori was going to work here so we replaced nori with some spinach i added my spinach and then added the pasta mixed that together my sauce was too thick so i added about a cup of the pasta water cook that down for about a couple of minutes and your pasta is done I topped the baby's pasta with some grated cheese. I topped mine with some chili flakes. Now let's make some dessert. For dessert we had some poached pears with coconut and orange homemade ice cream. Core your pear first. The reason is pears bruise very very easily and if you want your pears to look nice after they've been poached you need to avoid bruising them as much. I use a knife to core my my pears because I can be asked buying um, another gadget for my kitchen and it's a bit tricky but nice and slow does the job and it's a skill the more you do it the better you become at it pears turn brown as soon as you finish peeling them so to avoid this you need to put cold water enough to cover your pears in a pot squeeze the juice of a whole lemon and lemon peels if your lemon is organic and unwaxed Add one teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of white sugar, and one cup of brown sugar. Bring this to a boil on a medium heat. Once your water starts bubbling, stir to make sure that the sugar at the bottom of the pot is dissolving nicely. Reduce your heat down to low. Cover your pears with a saucepan or a bowl or something to make sure that your pears are submerged whilst they are cooking. Use a knife to pierce to make sure that your pears are cooked perfectly. Leave them to cool down for about a half an hour to 40 minutes. Transfer your pears to a bowl. Pour enough water to cover them. Look at that beautiful color. Don't discard the remaining water from your pears because you're going to make a syrup out of that. That's the syrup we made from the remaining water. I melted some dark chocolate and I made some homemade orange and coconut ice cream recipe will be coming soon. This dessert was, well, look at me, Sadie. Thank you for watching.